Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 17th through the 23rd. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now this reading may not be for you, okay? So, you know, if it doesn't resonate, then it's not for you. If you're confused, not for you. So, we'll see what happens. Generally, I do love readings. We'll see what comes up. Ooh, Justice in the Hierophant. Some of this could have something to do with something becoming final. Legal issues could be coming to an end. They could be wrapping up. You could be going to court. Things are starting to balance out. A decision has been made. So if you've been waiting for a decision to be made, uh, it, probably, it might go in your favor. Okay, if there's been a legal issue that you've been waiting on, it looks like it may go in your favor. Okay, just saying. Um, this is having faith and, and trust in a situation, believing. Yeah, you were probably dealing with somebody who wasn't trustworthy, but they're, the truth is going to come out, okay? Because this person doesn't keep their mouth shut. So if you were dealing with somebody and you had some issues, whether they're legal issues or whatever, you're going to come out on top because this person is fly by the seat of their pants and they're known, they're known to be untrustworthy. So I think you got this in the bag for those of you that are having some legal issues with another person, okay? I think that justice will be served in your favor, okay? I don't know where that message came from. I usually don't give messages like that, but... Um, <laughs> wow. So you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Libra, um, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have Taurus here a few times, so... You have Taurus here three times, Virgo and Capricorn you have here twice so re already. This is about stability. It's about security. It's about devotion and discipline and responsibility and planning. Planning for your financial success. You could be getting some money, coming into some money, just saying. Mm. Aries. So right in the middle of your reading, we have this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then on the other side of that, on each side, okay, we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Now you could say, I mean you could say, you could look at this as husband and wife, even though it's not the Empress and the Emperor, you could. They're, they're match. They're match. So I think that you have met your match in a certain situation. You have absolutely met your match. Um, but you, you may not feel like... you're ready to move forward in some direction you know you're you're feeling a little chaotic with this decision that you've made i see that you have made a decision you have made a decision or justice has made a decision there's a decision that has been made that you may not be feeling too confident about you're it's not you may not be feeling like this is going to work out in your favor it's only going to hurt you. You may feel like you're going to get hurt. Whatever this decision is. And justice can be karma. Okay? Just so, just saying. You may have a choice between two options. Okay? One of them seems like it's false. Or, and you probably know it. You probably know that it's false. It's not real. But you're reluctant to move forward. You could be dealing with a player. Okay, who's using you for your money. Just saying, beware, beware. I mean, we have this water sign right here in reverse. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's in reverse. This is somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart.
okay? They don't in reverse. And you may know that. You may know that. But you may be denying it because you don't want nobody to get hurt. I don't know what the hell this is. But you also you also have a fight uh Aries uh, not Aries um Libra Gemini Aquarius up here as well that could cause some problems in your life so just beware um or cause some problems in this dynamic there's a lot of people here okay we have and they could be children some of them could be children there could be issues with children and a and a wife or children and a husband I think there's family issues. I don't know where that's coming from. But I feel as though... And it's surrounded around money. It is definitely surrounded around money. Hmm. Now, listen to your intuition and your inner guide is huge. Huge during this time. These are both intuition. They're both inner guide. Listen, 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 listen. Get grounded. Come down to reality because this is not being in reality. Come ground yourself so that you can think for a minute. What is the reality of this situation? What is it that you are denying? What is it that you don't want to believe? What is it? Yeah, that's what this is. I mean, what is it that you don't feel confident about? Because whatever it is that you don't feel confident about, that's your inner guide saying, Ding 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 ding. You know, if there's something that is bothering you and bringing you down and making you feel like something isn't right, believe it. It's real. Okay? Those thoughts, those that that those pokes that you are getting are real. Don't deny them. Okay? This is there's a karmic situation here, absolutely, and I feel like you're dealing with a player who may be after your money. Yee! So, it looks as though things are... You're trying to keep things balanced. You're trying to keep things pleasant, right? You're trying to keep things pleasant. You, you're trying to remember the good times. You're, try, you're thinking about love. You know, you're thinking about a soulmate connection. You're thinking about... You know what love is you know and that's really heavily on your mind and I think that that you're in a situation where perhaps you know with the high priestess with this ace of cups reverse you know something isn't love maybe maybe you know that it's not love because you know that in the past what love felt like so maybe maybe you're you're re reminiscing about what what love really is what love really feels like and you're in a situation now it seems to me like it's not based on love. It's based on materialistic issues, materialism, money, whatever, you know. And maybe you don't see it that way. Maybe you, maybe you're in denial about that. I mean, somebody's. This is the queen of denial in reverse. I mean, it is. So here we have to, we have to balance out. We have to make some compromises to keep everything at ease, at ease. So I. I feel as though you guys are, are are juggling. You're probably juggling back and forth. You're probably considering what your next step should be. You probably know that you're dealing with a player. But for some reason, and you know there's not love. It's not real love. That's not true love. But for some reason, You're reluctant to move out of this situation, or you're re reluctant to complete it. It's stable. It's secure. You know, it is. It's 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 about security and stability. So it's like I, you know, I think that at this point you may be sacrificing love. Okay, come on now, you may be sacrificing love for money, stability, security. Anybody, as long as it's secure. I mean, this will not resonate with any with everybody, but somebody's absolutely in denial, not wanting to believe. All the while knowing there's no confidence in this. You know, there's no strength in this this love. There's no strength in it. I know what love is. I know what love feels like. But trying to keep things harmonious by.
not believing okay you have by not believing their inner guide not listening to your inner guide this right here is there's there's really no hope there's there's discouragement there's a loss of self there's a lack of wish fulfillment insecurities you're 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 letting your own insecurities about money and finances override your your need for love now the star reversed is there's like a lack of peace you're not i mean you're trying to keep the peace but it but there is no peace even though you're doing everything in your power to keep the peace in this situation there's no inner peace there's no inner peace holding on to something that isn't emotionally fulfilling. And I think you're losing hope in this situation. And you may want to go back to something else. You may be sick of, of hiding your true feelings. Sick of, sick of hiding behind this wall. I feel like you guys are preparing yourself for a new journey. You're preparing. You're in the you're in the process of of moving on, okay? You're in the process, but you have to come up with a plan, okay? You have to come up with a plan. And like I said at the beginning, something's final. But now you have to come up with a plan as to how you are going to move on. How you're going to follow your own path, okay? I feel like you guys are preparing for it. Because, but right now you're because you're preparing for it because you're not feeling at peace with this situation, so you're in the stage of preparing to step out from behind this wall. You're just in preparing, right? You're not doing it yet. You're not taking action. You're getting ready. You're re getting ready to light that fire under your ass. Um. You're dealing with an individual who isn't a nice person. I'm sorry. Okay. This person that you are dealing with is only thinking about themselves in every situation. It doesn't matter what the situation is. This person is putting themselves first. How is this going to benefit me? They are not thinking about how it is going to benefit you. They are thinking, how is this going to benefit me? And I think that you know that, but you don't want to believe it. You're not being logical by staying in this unpeaceful situation and always being the peacemaker. You shouldn't have to be the peacemaker. This is, this is unwelcome news, okay? Something is... You may not want to deal with the conflict. You know, this person may be immature and childish and lack common sense and you may be trying to protect the others involved by keeping the peace but while you are trying to keep the peace you are losing, you are not feeling loved, you're not feeling emotionally fulfilled, and you're probably all emotional because of this, because when you're carrying the burden, even though I don't have that card, when you're the peacemaker, when you're the one that has to deal with all this, well, you know, with the, with the Hierophant and the, and the High Priestess, you know Something isn't love. You know this isn't emotionally fulfilling, but you're staying in it anyway, whatever it is. So therefore, it's, 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 it's bringing you down. It's keeping you in your head because I, it, part of this is codependency, okay? It's part of this is I'm staying in this because of, of codependent reasons. You know, I, I don't want to be alone. You may feel all over the place. Sometimes you may feel really depressed. You know, you, you may go through go through belts of depression because this person I think this person is like cold okay and and there's there's a lot of pain that needs to be released okay 
So whatever it is that you guys are dealing with, it's smothering you. It is. It's smothering you. And you, you're, you're at a point of breakage, I think. I think you are. I think you're at a point of breakage. You're, you're like... Ah... <sighs> This isn't what I asked for. There, there is an opportunity for you to make progress, though, if you can find the confidence and the self-respect that you need to stand up for yourself. You have to think positive. You have to stay focused. This could be, there's a new opportunity waiting if you could see it. But it's like you're not hearing the call, you're not seeing it. I think you, this is a, this can often signify a new path, a new suitor, a new person. Somebody that's better suited for you on the horizon, but you can't see it because you're not aware. You're not, well, I think you are aware, but I think you're blinded, blindedly aware. You know, you don't want to be aware. That's what this is. I think you, you are aware. With, I do. I think that you are aware that something isn't love, but you're still holding on to it for who knows what reason. And you need to release. You need to. You need to. You need to make this release. You need to. You need to accept the truth of the situation. Okay. Um, and I think that you're just. You're not for some reason. There's no resurrection or reconciliation with whatever this is. No real love reconciliation. It's not like the love can just come. You know what I mean? Whatever this is, it's not like it's ever going to resurface in this situation. It's not. Whatever situation this is, it brought you security and stability at one time. And maybe even at one time it was love. But at this time, it's not love. But it's still secure. That's what I see. But there's a new opportunity, a new invitation, like right here. This is a new, an invitation, a new invitation. That could lead to victory and success. So this could be a new offer with somebody that is better suited for you. But if you don't see it, if you refuse to wake up and see it, if you refuse to step out of denial, if you refuse to, whatever, hide, I mean, if you keep hiding, you know, trying to be that peacemaker and trying to, to make it be what it isn't, then, you know, then you'll probably reject this opportunity. Yeah, reluctant to move on with anybody else. So I feel like there's an opera, so there's like a new offer, whether this is at work or at home or wherever it is in your life. There's a there's a there's an exciting new opportunity. There is, there is, but you're not seeing it. You're not allowing it. You're reluctant to move towards this new opportunity because you haven't learned your lesson yet. Damn it. Son of a bitch. But if you stay in this spot of emptiness, you will continue to feel incomplete. This is a cycle that needs to end. Something needs to end. And it's a major. It's major, okay? It is. This is a cycle that needs to end. It needs to complete. But you have to take the steps to do that. And that means you're going to have to accept the new offer. You're going to have to accept the new opportunity, whatever it is. Go down that new road. Come up with a new approach if you need to. I don't know. Think positive. And release. You have to release. You have to release your worries. You have to release your guilt. You have to release your regrets. You need to release your self-doubt. You need to allow this wake-up call to happen. You need to answer the call. Listen to your inner guide. Your inner guide is saying something isn't right and you aren't listening. 
That's what this message is about, Aries. Is there new love coming in? Well, there could be, but I don't think you could see it if you tried. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I mean, that's what I'm telling you. I mean, I can't make this shit up. This is what I, what I hear, what I see. I feel like there is a new opportunity, but you're still dealing with something legally or money matters or something like that that is hindering your progress towards happiness, towards true love or towards self-love or whatever it is. You need to let go of the guilt. You need to let go of the worries. You need to let go of the anxiety. You need to let go of the doubt. You need to find your confidence. You need to think positive. You need to be your own boss, okay? You need to take the lead. You need to believe in yourself. You need to have faith and trust in your inner guide. And finalize this situation so that you can move towards a better spot in your life. New beginning. There you are. Not that you're a fool or anything, but this does represent Aries. Fresh start. Take a risk. It's time to fly. Don't look back. Don't bring that baggage with you. You've evolved. You have. You've transformed. There's no need to stay where there's no more growth. It's time to start over. The Empress reversed. There's no more growth. There's no need to stay there. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start where you can take your free spirit and run from this situation. Go on your merry little way. <laughs> but you got to stop sacrificing yourself and you need to see things from a new outlook. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to stop hanging on to something. You've already been enlightened. You know the truth. Take a risk. You're stalling. You're stalling this fresh new beginning. Why? Why are you stalling? Are you scared? Are you scared? What are you scared of? What are you scared of? Not finding love? Not being enough? Being rejected? In the future, is that what you're scared of? Being rejected? Are you scared of love, period? Are you scared of love? It's time to be practical. It's time to be wise. You have what it takes to succeed. I see a lot of success here if you could just take a risk. This could lead to a very solid, solid, solid opportunity. Where you are highly respected. For your discipline. And your loyalty. But you have to walk away instead of just thinking about it. And you're really thinking about it. You're ready to go, but you just can't take those steps, okay? With, the, with this one, and there was some more down here that said you're ready, but you just can't take those steps. Why not? Why not? What are you afraid of? Take a risk. Let go of the fear. It's time to make a move. It's time to get moving. It's 
see the light right now get moving right now you're a destined you have a destined change of course this change this cycle that needs to end it's destined it's destined to be it's going to bring you something better but you're your own worst enemy in this situation okay you are find the courage and the confidence and the strength to take those steps forward towards good fortune money success the the time is now for a major shift a major change in your life don't block it don't block it let it come allow it so aries I feel like this is a week of you needing to find some strength to do something. You need to find some strength to remove yourself from a situation that is less than, it's, it's weighing on you, it's causing you stress, okay? It's causing you stress, it's not fulfilling you emotionally, but you're holding on to it anyway. Take that leap, okay? Take that leap, the full card, take it, right? Just do it. Because if you do and you trust yourself, you believe in yourself, if you have faith, you will be very successful. So whatever it is that you're being poked, remember I said way back, whatever they're telling you to do, do it. Do it. The time is now. You know what it is. You do. With the Hierophant and the High Priestess, I don't have to tell you what this is. Everybody's situation is different. Every single one of you that's watching this knows what it is that you need to do or that you're not doing. Okay? There's an opportunity for, like, massive success here. Abundance. Happiness. Good fortune. A spiritual connection. You know, a high, high, high spiritual connection where you are probably going to, you know, ascend to another level. But you, you can't fight it. If you fight it, it's just going to get worse. Don't fight it. You're going through an awakening of some sort. You're ascending. Don't fight it. Only make it worse. Whatever they're telling you to do in your inner guide, do it. It's going to bring you something better. Just do it. Okay? It's meant to happen. It's divinely guided. Your intuition is telling you to do something and it's going to bring you something better. Please do it. If you don't, then hey, well, that's your, that'd be your own problem, but whatever. Whew. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Even listen to the wisdom that arises from your soul. Oh my God. Even if those around you don't agree, trust your instincts. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Live your truth. And walk your talk. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others so that they can find their truth. I told you you were ascending. Okay? This is, this is it. You are a helper. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. Jesus, girl. If you are facing a decision 
and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, oh, follow the dictates of your heart and you'll be the, on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Remember I said those nudges. I said it multiple times. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. I told you they're telling you to do something during this next week. Okay? You are going to receive a message via your intuition. Do it. Do it. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. You can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, which it absolutely does, it's gonna, okay? If your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take time to be still, to discover that genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there's an area of your life in which you're not being authentic, or where, or where you're not in integrity with your values... This is the time to make some changes. Well, son of a bitch. That card just summed up our whole reading now, didn't it? You know what you're going to have to do. Be Listen this next week. Really listen. Because they're going to give you the answer. Talk to you next time.